Yeah, no I don't. I think what your problem is, is that two things. Well, three things. I feel that some people who claim divestment really have more of an issue with their own skin tone, their own phenotype. This is why they it, conflate colorism with divestment. You know, when I started out with um, my channel back in 2019, before, before 2020, I specifically noticed that dark-skinned black women were encouraged to basically be more on the divested side. When you were someone like on the lighter skinned spectrum of it, we were encouraged to be mammies, basically. So we were supposed to prefer black men because we were told that black men preferred us, therefore we should prefer them, even though our opinion and our preference and our interests are more important than what a black man wants. He just has to benefit off of whoever wants him, not the other way around, you know? And I think you have that perspective, honestly. And on top of it, you have a tendency to cape for people and side with people who hate you. And I've shown this. I've shown how Cynthia G hates women who interracially date and you claim that you do yourself. And also, I have shown how Bossy, who is a good friend of yours, has said a lot of negative things about dark-skinned black women, yet you still support a woman who doesn't think that nice of things of you and thinks she's better than you. See, that's your tendency. You tend to associate with people who talk poorly about you and actually disrespect your image and disrespect your lifestyle. That's who you are. You see, I've made videos supporting you. Remember that time when um, Jessica X's friend was disrespecting you in such tremendous ways by calling you, I believe, chimp and all sorts of other racist terms um, because she's a piece of shit um, and so is Jessica X. Um, Remember when I defended you and said that those women were extremely masculine and you were the only feminine woman up there? That's my way. I am very supportive of my own. And when I say my own, I mean diverse black women. And I understand that you associate with people that are against me. I don't really care. I still support your channel. I still am supported. I, I mean, I'm subscribed to your channel. Um, and I will show a screenshot so everyone knows. I'm not lying. I really am subscribed to her channel. Um, and I watch your channel from time to time. So, like, what I wanted to say in full total was that divestment is not about hating someone who is lighter skinned. And I'm not Hispanic. You know, you were trying to say that I was Hispanic. I'm not Hispanic. Um, my grandfather is Nicholas Ramirez. You know, that guy only fathered the last two children of my grandmother's children. You know that my father is my grandmother's first child. So he was so far from her when she was getting pregnant with my father. So there is no way I am part Dominican. No way, okay? Um, on my dad's birth, I mean death certificate, it says that his fathers are Nicholas Ramirez and Charles Walker. Charles Walker is my real grandfather. He's a black man. 
He's a black man with some distant Native American ancestry. And yes, this is true. I'm DNA tested, as you can see. Well, you can't see on this test because you can't see the bottom percentage. I should show that, actually. But, um, yeah, I'm a black American woman. Uh, all my communities say black American. There's uh, French settlers, there's Virginia settlers, and there's uh, North Carolina settlers. Uh, and this is all African Americans. I have Creole in my family on both sides, yes, but uh, but I am definitely black American on both sides. Um, so, and as you can see on my DNA results, I have about on this right here, it says I'm over 85% black because there's more at the bottom, um, but I'm 92% black to be total. And no, I don't look like you phenotypically because my ancestry is from Nigeria and Mali mostly as you can see over 50% of my heritage it lies within the Sahel and Sahara desert so of course I don't phenotypically look like you you can look at the people there they don't look like you either does that mean you're not black because you don't look like some African people in Africa just making sense of what you're saying basically you're saying I don't look like the type of black person you're comfortable with. Well, I can I can obviously prove my blackness. I have two black parents. I'm not mixed. And so all you're going off of is hating me because I'm lighter skinned than you. Just to show you, I'm not even that much lighter than you, as you can see. I'm a black woman. You're just hating me because I'm a few shades lighter than you. Divestment isn't about hating lighter-skinned black women. Divestment is very inclusive to black women regardless of the shade. You see, the colorism people who basically have, you know, an issue with black men not preferring them are mammies. And Divested Zealot actually specifically says this. See, I'm a supporter of Divested Zealot. I'm a supporter of also um, Lexus Exodus. I am. Um, I'm, I came from Crystal Swirl side of YouTube. Yes, what made me actually make another channel was Crystal Swirls. Because like I said, starting out in 2019, I saw a lot of people that were of your mentality, who were of the mentality that I must be a pro-black man, like you said, because I'm lighter skinned, because you think I could look Latina, because you think I'm a preference, I must prefer black men, even though I say that black men have feces sticks for penises. To me, their penises look like feces, and I don't give them the generosity of calling them logs, like divested cell it does, though I do like the term shit logs, I will not do that. I will not call their penises logs because I'm not going to assume they're big. They're just sticks. Feces sticks. So, um, as far as what you were saying, no, I'm not one who is part of the manosphere. I'm not pro-black men. Anyone can see I attack black men often. Um, I, I, I did, I'm very good at defending myself, and oftentimes the black man will sphere attacks me because I am divested and I don't have any preference towards black men. And so, I mean, like I said, um, you shouldn't have to say that you have to be some sense of undesirability to black men in order to fit into the divested sector, which is what a lot of you guys imply, basically, by saying that you can't be younger, you can't be lighter skinned, you can't be of a certain specific phenotype that makes you uncomfortable because then you think that if you had that phenotype you would just stick with black men because you find preference with them. Yes, I have found preference with black men, but I don't prefer them. So then my preference overrules anyone else's preference. So. That's all I'm just saying here. It's just like, honestly, like you trying to say that I am someone who isn't divested or a real black woman because I'm lighter than you. 
even though I'm more black than you and I have more black ancestry than you ever will have because I'm 92% black, um, just implies that you're one of those people who hate lighter skinned black women. And the only way you can really be okay with black women is when they put you in a place where they put you as a lower position because you feel inferior, I guess. Because that's why you accept certain people who are lighter than you, but they don't think you're equal to them, basically. They don't like your phenotype. They think your phenotype is inferior, like bossy, for example. So, I mean, that's a case of low self-esteem mixed with the whole idea that you have that ingrown problem or whatever with lighter skinned people on but that's not what divestment is about if you look at divested zealots channel you see she talks about black women who get killed by black men regardless of their color light medium dark doesn't matter you know so that's just what it is you know it, divestment isn't about color you are stuck on color. You need to stop being stuck on color. You know, we're all black women. I support black women. I support your channel. And I will never have an issue with your channel. I won't. You can hate me all you want, but it's kind of puerile because you're angry at me for just not liking another content creator. Like, y you need to really mind your own business on that I, if someone doesn't like a content creator i like i generally just ignore that unless there's a point that i don't agree with them on then i'll make a video on it and explain why i don't agree with it but if you're not going to bring a point which you didn't bring any points up here you just tried to attack me by lying about me but not actually going about talking about what i was talking about with cynthia g and you can't address all the different videos I'm posting of Cynthia G hating specifically black women who interracially date. You're literally defending women who attack divested black women. So that implies you're either an enemy yourself, you're a mole yourself, or you just have a very low self-esteem and a tendency to defend people who attack you and your image and your lifestyle, as I said in the beginning. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Have a great day. Bye.